Today I'm going to be doing an updated apartment tour. I just hit the one year mark of living in this apartment, which is kind of crazy. Like that time just flew by so fast. Since I've lived here for quite some time, like everything is pretty much in its place, more or less. So I'm really excited to share that with you. And if you haven't seen my first apartment tour video, I'll link it in the info card and down in the description box. And if you did see my last video, then you'll see the changes that I've made since then. And I'll share why I made some of the changes that I did and hopefully it'll give you some ideas and inspiration for your own home. So let's get started. The living room is probably my favorite in the whole apartment. I love hanging out with my friends here and watching TV on the couch, which is a sectional from Article. And the extra pillows make it super cozy too. I got most of them from Home Goods, but this multicolored one is from Target and the blanket is also from Target. I still can't commit to a coffee table because I love the open space and it gives Cody more room to play and run in the apartment. But I did get this ottoman from Target, which sometimes acts as a little coffee table. I think it goes really well with the couch and the blanket because it's in a similar color scheme. I did end up swapping my old rug out for this one from Ruggable. I've always wanted a red rug like this and this one is great because it's waterproof, stain resistant, and machine washable. I also haven't settled on how to decorate this back wall, so if you have any ideas, please let me know. To the right, I have this vintage briefcase, which I thrifted for just $6 at Goodwill. I use it to store extra sheets for when friends come over, and I also have some extra blankets in this wire basket, and then my Dracaena plant. I also have my shoe rack in this corner, which I don't love, but it works for now. Moving to the opposite wall, all the furniture pieces have stayed the same, but I did add some more decorative stuff. I got this Fuck Off Squad comic because I thought it was just so cheeky with this decaf attitude. Then I have this super cool Sailor Venus artwork. She's my favorite. I got it at an anime convention, but I'll link the artist down below. My best friend gave this to me and it's a photo of us in DC. We were in the middle of trying a jumping pick. This is what I call my peaceful little corner. I have some random crystals here that I got at an event. I don't remember what each of them are, but I thought they were really pretty. This is a moon sculpture that my friend Brittany actually made. She knows I love moons, so it was a super thoughtful gift. Then I have some random eucalyptus leaves here, a couple of my favorite candles, and my pink Himalayan salt lamp. And all of this sits on this really cool wooden tray, which I also thrifted for just two or three dollars. Then we have this shelf which has changed a little bit. I put some different plants on top but that's just temporary and look I have actual books on here now and I want to share a few of them with you. So first The People of Paper. This is one of my favorite books. I actually read this in college for a literature class. It was just so different and abstract from anything I've ever read before. It was a really cool book. Then I have this book that my sister gifted me. She knows I'm into horror movies so she gave me this comic book full of good horror stories and I've actually never read this book but my sister did all the illustrations for it so I had to have a copy of it. Then I have this book of short stories by J.R.R. Tolkien. He wrote Lord of the Rings and is one of my favorite authors. I think he's just brilliant. But anyway, moving on. This is the dining room turned office area. I used to have two benches with this table, but it was just a bit impractical. So I pretty much just turned it into my work desk and I edit here a lot. Behind that, I have this room divider, which I love so much because I actually built it with my brother. Clearly it's not being used to divide any rooms right now. I mostly like to use it as the backdrop in my videos. I want to share this little section with you where I just taped up these two art prints. I like them placed together like this because it tells a little story. As for the kitchen, not much has changed. I spend a lot of time in here now, but I kind of hate the counters and the floor tiling. I just haven't had the time to do anything about it. I did add these curtains, but it was more for filming purposes, not to hide the kitchen, but that's cool too. The bathroom also hasn't changed much, but I did add this runner, which I got at the Rose Bowl flea market. I almost forgot another thing I love about this apartment is that it has a huge balcony, which I haven't been taking advantage of at all, but I did recently add this egg-shaped patio chair, which I got from Target. I've been eyeing this chair for over a year and finally decided to make the jump. I also added this little palm tree and some string lights, which look so pretty at night. Okay, lastly, my bedroom. This has changed a lot. My bed and dresser pretty much switched places and I love this layout so much more. This dresser area is probably my favorite. I thrifted this flamingo print from Goodwill. I love its color scheme, how it's a bit muted or faded. It reminds me of 80s interior design colors. 
I also have some plants here, this retro Bluetooth speaker and some jars with lip colors and scrunchies. These actually used to be candle jars, but I cleaned them out and repurposed them. Then I have this speckled pink vase. I found this at the Rose Bowl flea market and I think it goes so well with the flamingo print. And on the very right, I have this jewelry box that my mom gave me. So it's very sentimental because she doesn't usually do gifts like this. So this nook, I finally turned it into a vanity. I mounted these shelves on the wall so that I could display some of my makeup products. It just helps me see what palettes I have way better than when they were in drawers. As for the bed, nothing's really changed, but I did add this new corner to the side. This little dresser used to be in my closet, but I pulled it out so that I could have a side table. I actually thrifted this mirror and spray painted it gold. Having it here is a bit impractical because it's really hard to use, but I love how it looks with the green leaves cascading down and it also matches my lamp. So that's it for my apartment tour. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, getting a little peek inside my home. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber and you wanna see more videos from me, then don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.